My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball. And what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced. The insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top. And then slowly coming down, trace the line. And do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is a great feedback tool, visual feedback tool, for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstesGolf.com if you have any questions. So the first balance training exercise is you're going to take your right foot, place it in a sturdy position so your knees over your ankle. Then you're going to take your left foot and move it back. So you're basically balancing on your right foot with your right left toe is going to be your helping you anchor for balance. Then you're going to go down and try to touch your right foot, getting your body parallel to the ground. I want you to come back up. You know, you're keeping your trail leg, or sorry, your 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 left foot off the ground the whole time. You're going to do like 10 or 10 of these. Okay. Um, second exercise I want you to do is stand on one foot. It's going to be your right foot. Cross your arms. Place your hands on your shoulders and rotate to the right. Rotate to the left. And stay on balance for 15 seconds, rotating your trunk 45 to 60 degrees to the right and to the left, keeping your lower body stable. Don't let your hips move hardly at all. Squeeze your knees together. That's called one leg trunk rotation. You're going to do it on both feet. Then you're going to swing on your right foot and swing on your left foot without losing your balance. Yeah. Squeeze your knees together. You're going to work on your balance. Then you're going to pretend like this is a wall here. Here's the wall. It's about an inch from your rear end. And then you've got to push back into that wall on initiating the backswing. So you get a little bit forward of that wall. And that is what we're going to work on. We're going to get that I don't want your hips going toward the ball. Mm -hmm. but I feel like the weight goes to my heels on both feet or just more right side? More in the right foot, but both, you know. Yeah. And uh, we'll use a balance board and I'll, I'll show you the feel. You should feel like you're lifting your, your toes off the ground as you're taking the club back almost, just to exaggerate it. Your head... won't go toward the ball at all. Yep, yeah, it's coming from the... But that's because of the pelvis moving forward. And it's okay to have an inside-out swing. It's just... We want to, the more we can keep the pelvis from moving forward, the less into out your swing will be. 